Well, hello and welcome once again to Midweek Connect from Elim Church Romsey. My name is Dave Walker. I'm the senior pastor here. And uh, Elim Church Romsey is a great church. You can join us any week, every week, 10.30 a.m. on a Sunday morning is our main service with people of all ages, stuff for the kids and youth as well. And you can come along in the morning or in the evening and there's tea and coffee and biscuits served afterwards. You're always welcome. Um, but we also do a, a broadcast midweek called Midweek Connects. We used to do that before uh, the summer and we, we're kind of doing it again where I just come um, and, and sort of face you on the camera and give you a bit of inspiration, something to help you through the day or the week. And we normally bring it out on Wednesday. And so here's the first one, the first one of the November, December period. So we'll, we'll go for the next five weeks and then maybe the other side of Christmas. So we've got different people in the church who will do it as well. May, it won't all, always be me. Um, and these people don't know yet because I've not asked them yet. But I, when I ask them, um, I'm sure they'll... Um, consent to, to sharing as well, but mainly it's going to be me. My title today is Don't Tip Jesus Out of the Boat. Don't Tip Jesus Out of the Boat. I want to read from Mark 6 verses 45 to 52, and then I want to bring some um, points on which will um, inspire you and encourage you. Mark 6, 45 onwards, immediately he, that's Jesus, made his disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side to Bethsaida. While he dismissed the crowd, and after he had taken leave of them, he went up onto the mountain to pray. When evening came, the boat was out on the sea, and he was alone out on the land. And he saw that they were making headway painfully, and the wind was against them, and they were struggling. And about the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea. He meant to pass by them. But when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out. For they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, it's I, don't be afraid. And he got into the boat with them and the winds died down. And they were astounded. Fantastic, isn't that wonderful? This picture of Jesus leaving the disciples to go across the sea in a boat and um, halfway through the night, the storm gets bad and he walks out to the sea. He walks out to them on the, on the boat, on the sea, in the boat, sorry, um, and gives them an opportunity to invite him in. This is, see, this is really uh, almost an illustration of our day with Jesus. And that's why the title is called Don't Tip Jesus Out of the Boat. You go through the day. The day can be like a stormy sea. And you can quite easily make your own decisions and, and follow your own will and do your own things and make mistakes and, and sin a little bit here and there and not pray in the morning to such a point that when Jesus makes, his, it makes himself known to you and prompts you, you don't recognise him. See here, he walked out to the sea and they didn't recognise him. They thought it was a ghost. But when they inv invited him in, when they invited him in, the storm died down. And I would say to you right now that whatever storm you are facing, whatever problems have hit you today, invite Jesus in afresh once again. Sit down and say, Jesus, this is what's going on in my life. I know you know anyway, but I want to tell you, let him come into the boat with you and let him sort things out because he can do it and he is good at it. And we have an illustration here of where they invited Jesus in. And this is a, a, a physical event that took place. Jesus was on the earth at the time. And of course, um, you know, the, it was, they were his disciples. He invited them in and the, the wind and the waves died down. But when you invite Jesus into your life, into your day, the wind and the waves die down. I wonder if you have personally invited Jesus into your life. When I was 19 years old, I invited Jesus in. I asked him to be my Lord and Saviour. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. He died for your sins on the cross. And if you ask him to be, to be your Lord and Saviour, to come into you, to your life, to give your life to him, to be baptised, to follow him, and to invite him into every single part of your day, you will experience the peace 
that you were meant to have from the beginning. A life with Jesus is absolutely brilliant. And I want to invite you to consider that for yourself, to consider the Christian life. There is nothing better than living for Jesus and putting, putting him first in your life. I remember this illustration many years ago when we dropped my daughter off to school the first day. She went through the school gate, looked behind and went, Daddy. But when we came to pick her up at tea time, she was like, Daddy. She was happy to have us in her life. She was happy to have her father in her life again and she felt safe and she felt secure. And I want to say to you that that's an illustration of what it's like having Jesus as your way, as, as the way, the truth and the life and as your saviour. And um, if you'd like to know more, please call me. I've just got a new mobile number and I can't remember it. I'm really, really sorry. But just put um, uh, a comment on this video and uh, we'll get in touch with you. But come along this Sunday to Elim Church, Romsey, Middlebridge Street, Romsey, 10.30 a.m. I will be preaching and we look forward to seeing you. God bless and thank you for joining us for Midweek Connect today.